Whatever reason made you click my video, welcome. I'm gonna show you guys the setup I bring with me for remote work. Whether I'm in another country, another island, a different city, or wherever the fuck, I make sure that everything in this setup can fit in my backpack so I can travel, work, and play with ease. <laughs> Let's start with my workhorse, or whatever people call it. The Legion 5i 2021 model, which cost one and a half kidneys. If you're curious about the specs, I'll put it on screen. The performance is amazing. Rendering has been a breeze and gaming on a 2K 165Hz display is also a breath of fresh air. And because this laptop has a 2K display and I've been working outside on random places lately, I sold my previous 27 inch 1080p monitor and used the money for reasonable purposes. Like you and me, this laptop needs to breathe air. So I mounted on this foldable stand from next stand. Stand from next stand. I thought it was too high at first, but I got used to it. I don't get wrist strain from it and it raises my laptop to eye level. It also provides good airflow for this heavy beast. I also bring this 1TB SSD from SanDisk with me for extra storage, which is velcroed at the back of this laptop. I also have a 1TB hard drive for backup, also velcroed at the back of this laptop. I don't bring a keyboard with me anymore to save me some space, but my Ant Pro 2 is still at my disposal when needed. Plus, the keyboard on this laptop is a major step up from my previous one. And honestly, who uses a numpad on a gaming keyboard? Before we move on, this laptop, like most of my tech, is a fingerprint magnet and can get greasy pretty fast as well. I clean most of my tech using this whoosh spray and a cloth that came with it. They're not a sponsor, but I find this product very helpful. I keep it in this small tech pouch along with other gear that helps my productivity. More about that later. I always bring a mouse with me as well. I still main the Razer Viper Ultimate along with the Goliathus Mobile. This is the second time I bought this mouse pad because the first one I had get lost in the Kuala Lumpur airport. So whoever found it, it's yours, you're welcome. Although I still use the Strider XXL at home and I still don't know what a hybrid mouse pad is. Being a gaming mouse, it's not really built for long hours of work. So I bought this wrist rest from Delta Hub to decrease wrist fatigue from hours of doing productive things all day. Like the stand, it also comes with a travel pack or a satchel, whatever it's called. The small 15 inch screen paired with the Viper Ultimate is a bit of a challenging combo when it comes to competitive FPS games. So it took me a while to get back to plat in Rainbow Six Siege. And then I uninstalled it. I tried playing something else like Valorant and well, you be the judge of my performance. <coughs> I haven't run into any problems with it yet. Sure, the rubber grips are fading and the charging dock stopped working completely, but otherwise, it's still a great mouse for 2023. For my audio, I started using a wired IEM from KZ, a massive game changer in audio. I modified it a bit since some of the original parts turns yellow quickly. Since I can't bring my Razer Siren Mini with me, I swapped it out for a Rode Video Mic Go 2. I use it for pretty much everything. It's a good mic for gaming, doing voiceovers, and vlogging. I can attach it to any camera and phone using a cold shoe mount and connect it either through a 3.5mm headphone jack for cameras or a type-c cable for smartphones. When I'm outside, I attach it to this phone mount and stand by Yulanzi. They make great and affordable products but some of it is a hit or miss like this stand that's supposedly the Gorillapod killer but the rubber grip is now starting to fall apart. Either way, it's still usable. At home, I still attach it to a cheap stand on a quick release plate because why not? This stand also helps me record stuff, bird's eye view of my table when needed. And now for my mini tech pouch. The Thule, Thule, Thule? The Thule Sub Terra Mini is where I keep my wires, items that clean or organize my tech, and other things I need like this wind buff for my microphone. This all-in-one tube thing that stores various adapters, a Type-C cable, SD card storage, and a SIM tray opener. This is also where I keep a pair of earplugs and a U-Green USB hub. Just because I left the house doesn't mean I don't game on the go. I sometimes bring an Xbox controller to play games like Cyberpunk and Assassin's Creed. Pretty much anywhere, even in the waiting lines at airports. I added a thumb grip for, well, more grip. When I'm not bringing other things with me like clothes, a tumbler, or a tripod, etc. I bring my Black Shark V2 Pro with me instead, instead of the KZ and Rode my combo. But as I said before, it's a bit annoying to use in a country with a hot climate. Other optional items I bring are a good pen and a notebook. 
The pens, pencils, erasers, etc. are housed in this magnetic pencil case that snaps around the elastic waistband of the notebook. All of this junk can fit in my Kabam backpack from North Face. I made a separate video about that bag which you can check out on the link down below. Lastly, when it comes to the recording, I'm still using my S22 Plus or this old trusty EOS M10. I'm looking to buy a new camera like the A7C or something, so help me out by subscribing, I guess. Thanks for wasting your time by watching this video. Here are some more videos to waste your time. Thanks for watching.